Hey y'all, it's Shannon. So I wanted to come at you real quick with this video on how to make acrylic skins, specifically using matte medium. And in this video, I use golden high flow acrylic because I really like the bloom effect I can get with, with the golden high flow. And basically I'm going to end up using this stuff in a collage later on. And I'll talk about that a little, but right now what I'm doing is mixing some colors and I'm just mixing a couple of shades of orange. And I think these are the transparent ones, if I recall correctly. So I'm just, I'm, I really love doing these and I am doing two sets here. I'm doing a transparent and an opaque one. The opaque one is going to be the background of the collage kind of the base and then the transparent just to build up layers, colors, depth. So an important thing when you're making your matte acrylic skins, make it thick enough because if it's too thin, even when it's dry, it's not going to come off the paper. Now I'm not saying make it a half an inch, but definitely make it pretty thick. You want to use your palette knife to spread that out and like get it, get some depth to it. I would say somewhere probably between an eighth and even maybe a quarter of an inch if you're wanting to be wild and make it really thick. But that does delay drying time. So I'm testing a couple of different matte mediums that I've used in the past. So I'm using Windsor & Newton with this one and the previous one was a Sargent one I had. I'm using Hansa Yellow Light and I'm just doing lots of little drips and drops straight from the bottle for the yellow. And as you can see I'm using that palette knife to spread that out. So and again that's the Hansa Yellow really like that color a lot. It's the transparent one and I believe that's naphthol red light if I remember correctly. I know it's a naphthol red but I can't remember which one. So and I wanted to get some good striations in these so I added in a little bit of the other colors in those skins as well. So I'm on to the opaque now. Woohoo! So now I am blending my oranges for the opaque one and this one I use a quinacridone orange, a naphthol red I believe again, and Hansa yellow. So just mixing those up real quick and I have, I'm using my palette knife to mix. It's just easy to do that and handy and yeah. So and I like to use plastic palette knives when I'm working with acrylic medium because it's going to get gunky and gross and sometimes real hard to clean. So. I'm just adding my layers, my little drops of orange, and I got a little paint where I didn't want it, so, and I decided to add in some little dots of yellow, because I really like that effect. So now I am adding in some, I'm doing another skin basically, and this one is phthalo green and green gold. I really, really love the green gold, and basically what I'm going to use those for is to make leaves. So they should turn out really, really, well, they do turn out really cool. I'm not going to lie, <laughs> but I really love the bloom effect and I just think it gives it so much like character and just kind of something a little special. So I put down some more acrylic medium and this one I think is Nicolazzo gold, I believe. I can't quite remember and the green gold and then a little bit of the um, Hansa yellow really like that. This is just kind of an up close of those so you can see that. Now like I said I really can't ex express enough that you need to make sure at least with the matte medium it needs to be a decent thickness to do your acrylic skins but keep in mind the thicker it is the longer it's going to take to dry. So this is 24 hours later approximately and so I've done a couple of skins. This is one where I did the skin too, too thin. Like you can see through it very clearly. It is dry, but I it's not coming off very easily. It's, it's really like sticking down to it. And I've used placemats before, but I really prefer palette paper. It's what I've started using the last few months. It's just so easy to get it off because it's got that like waxy coating. This is just as an example because I, I had some modeling paste that I used the other day and so I let it dry and basically like it just pops right off. So I mean it's it's so simple to, to use. And the other thing is is you want to make sure make sure your acrylic medium is really super dry and here I'm out of focus for a second there because I'm a ding dong but all right so and I'm trying to pull it off but it's I'm having a hard time which indicates that that medium is not dry so if you're trying to pull it off and it's giving you a hard time and you have a decent thickness to it it's not dry that's just a sample of some gel medium I've I've done and yeah I mean so it's, it's really should be easy to pull off so if it's not 
that means it's not dry and you need to let it dry a few more days or you may have gotten it too thin like I'm not sure if you can see exactly how thin I got that but that is like paper thin It's really quite thin so that was my mistake on that one anyways but yeah so and I'm just I'm determined to get this stuff off because I know it's dry because as thin as it is but the problem is, like I said, I got it too thin so it doesn't want to pop right off. So it makes it difficult. Had to use a palette knife. Ended up tearing off pieces. It's, it was a pain in the hiney, really, to be honest with you. So, yeah. So that's, that's the life lesson learned there, I guess. So, but, so I decided to leave that for a few more days. Now, this next one is several several days later and I made another skin this is even several days after this one you can see it's pretty pretty thick it's got some thickness got some weightiness to it really love that bloom effect and so you can see it just comes right off no issues whatsoever it's just a matter of time that's that's a big key for this I think that you know I think that I particularly am impatient and so I don't want to wait but see I was able to pop those off no problem and this is just a lot of fun to do, especially if you enjoy collaging and putting things together, making something out of something different. I don't know. I really enjoy this, and I really like making these skins. I think there's a few videos on it, but I've never seen anyone kind of talk about the specifics of the matte medium skin. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please do me a huge favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you enjoyed this and if you want to see more kind of like this or me using collage. I hope you have a good day. Bye!